LM Studios, a quick overview of my new mastering setup. Um, let's see, this is a track that I recorded quite a few years ago in a garage in Oakland, California with a band named The Live. Take the all the processing out. Um, I start off first, kind of unconventional, with some DSing. If it hadn't already been done in the mix, it's good to throw a little bit of DSer on there. Take care of the high end. And then next on the chain is a multiband compressor. It's good for uh, multi-band amplification and leveling. This one is the Cubase multi-band. Next on the chain is the newest addition. The modeling of the EMI TG12345 from the world famous Abbey Road Studios. I like it because it helps to simplify the mastering. We have a stereo spread right there. We have the console noise, uh, channels one and two, the faders as well as the drive. And on the EQ strip, you have the uh, high-end EQ. Trouble presence and based base. Bring that back in. You also have a routing selection. And here you have the compressor and limiter and the hole, that's the amount of compression, and the recovery, that's the makeup time. I mean the release time makeup game release time and you have the parallel compression you can add in as much as the mix with, with the actual compressor as you'd like and this channel strips all in one plug in so that helps and I noticed that this plug in does just bring a brightness and breathiness and pumping to a track After that, I have the Cubase Magneto tape emulation, tape saturation emulation. And I'm just trying out the uh, vintage uh, 1176 knockoff as a limiting amplifier. Further tweaking will ensue, but this just uh, shows the, how to uh, just simplify my mastering chain. Out. Back in. 